What's up everybody, this is Mike and today's video will be a very short one as we have huge news regarding the latest firmware upgrade for the DJI Spark as DJI has just pushed a mandatory update for the Spark uh, in effort to uh, address the multiple issues of sparks falling down from the sky. Now this update is completely mandatory for everyone that is trying to fly this, their spark and you have time until September 1st to upgrade the firmware of your spark, otherwise you won't be able to use it. Now the update itself is a small one, it's 92 megabytes and it enhances the spark's battery management system to optimize the power supply during flight. It also finally adds full support for the DJI goggles. It optimizes a palm launch function for better stability after takeoff. And it also improves the accuracy of controls in drone mode. Finally, this update enhances the compatibility of the remote controller when syncing up with new firmware updates. To update your Spark, you simply need to go into the DJI Go 4 app, then you will be greeted with a welcome screen that tells you about the update. You simply need to uh, press the I know button and then you will be able to upgrade to the latest firmware. Once you do that, you will be safe to fly your Spark again and you have to um, upgrade your batteries firmware as well, but after you do that, you will be good to go and hopefully you won't have any issues with your Spark anymore. Feel free to share this information with all of your Spark buddies so they know and update your firmware before September 1st to avoid any problems. So what do you think of this update? Do you think it's fair that DJI uh, pushes a mandatory update or you find it annoying Personally, I like the way DJI is trying to deal with the issue as they're trying hard to keep everyone updated and kind of uh, on the same page. Um, but I see the other side of the coin uh, and I, I see the problem for many people that, that might be uh, traveling or um, being in different places where internet access is not available. So um, it's, it might suck for them, but to be honest, I find this very necessary to avoid any bigger problems with the Spark as we have a lot of reports uh, from people um, saying that they are, their Spark has randomly fallen out of the sky. Hopefully this issue will be now resolved after this upgrade. So let's wait and see, but let me know your opinion in the comments below. Anyway, that's everything that I have for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this short informational video. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Ciao.